Kelly from Use It Scrapbooking and this month I've been working with the Little Yellow Bicycle Kit Feels Like Home that I received from the Memory Nest and I've created three layouts with this kit so far and I'm down to the bottom the last few pages of the kit and I wanted to make sure I used every single little bit of it. Okay, so here's what we have left. Um, we have this home paper, which is one of those nice pages that comes in a kit that's basically a lot of the work's done for you. There's already a theme, so you just have to think of something that has to go with home. Add some pictures and some journaling, and I think basically that page will be done. We'll add a few accents here and there, like I already added love up here, and while I'd like to take credit for using that cute little home chipboard circle for the O, there isn't actually an O in the chipboard kit, so Little Yellow Bicycle made me be clever, so very nice of them. Another page that we have left is these little this cut pattern, and on the back side of that is a yellow tone on tone, like a newspaper print, and this did have lace around the edge, which I trimmed off. Um, because I think I'm going to use that yellow for a photo mat. Um, but I like this lace border and cutting it just that small strip off will allow me to use it um, someplace else. And then the other pattern that I have left, or pieces of left, uh, is this cool floral, autumn floral I would call it. Um, and the back side of that uh, was a ledger paper. I love ledger paper because I love lined paper. Uh, and it had a cool red border. So I actually cut out this so you can see. Um, I cut this out of the middle here um, because I wanted to be able to use both sides. I really like that red lace border. It's like the yellow one only it's red, white, and blue. So I cut it so that I could use both uh, pieces which is a really great way if you only have one piece of paper and you like both sides. It's a great way to be able to use both sides. You can use it on the same layout or you can use it on another layout, but it helps make that pattern stretch a little farther, with, which is nice. Um, and we had some other chipboard pieces up here um, that we'll be using. And then also uh, stickers. I had some leftover stickers. So we'll see what we can pull out of this. Definitely I'm looking at two layouts. Um, and then we might be able to use some of the accents on a card. So let's get started. All right, like I said, we're going to start with this home paper. And uh, the, I don't have a particular house that feels like home at the moment because we've done a lot of moving. So I gathered up a couple of pictures of my boys because basically wherever they're at is what feels like home to me. So I took these and I added some photo mats. I had an extra scrap of this blue and white chevron paper from another layout I did with this line. And it was a little smaller than 4x6, so I trimmed my photo down a bit so you could definitely see the blue. There's a lot of red in their shirts here, which definitely goes with the red on the layout. And then by adding the blue um, photo mat, it helped it all come together a little bit more I think. And then with this one I had a red scrap left over which really wasn't quite big enough for a photo mat because I didn't want to cut this photo down anymore. We have all this real estate to play with here so I didn't want to lose that. Um, so instead what I did is I put this on the bottom right corner and it still I think functions like I like to have a photo mat function and gives it the photo someplace to rest and sit so it looks like it belongs there. So we'll add a little bit of adhesive here and this one's going to go up here in this corner opposite our ones there and then I'm going to put this one at a little bit of an angle I like, it's kind of a funny picture and uh, it gives some movement to the layout here and draws your eye down here, which I like. I added one of the keys, the chipboard keys, as an accent here. And for me, I did that because it symbolized that they're the key to my happiness. So wherever they're at will feel like home and I will be happy. Okay, and then I'm going to add a few little banners over here. And normally, I would attach chipboard with a pop dot, but you can believe it, I'm completely out of pop of glue dots. Can you believe it? I'm not sure that's ever happened before. So, okay. There are 
our banners. Okay, there's that finished layout. Um, you can see that we have our visual triangle with the accents here. Now some of those are already on the paper so that definitely made it a lot easier for us. This page came together super fast and I can't recommend enough that if you, you know, you have those times where you only have, you know, a little bit of time to scrap, pick up some of these papers that do all the tough work for you and that help you tell your stories. Add some pictures, add the journaling, and, and you have a page. You can feel like you've been created, creative, you can feel like you've told your story, and it didn't take you too much time, which is nice to have that option once in a while. This one, of course, is from Little Yellow Bicycle. There's several manufacturers who make um, these sort of pre-printed quick pages that are ready to go, and I highly recommend picking up some of those if you don't already have them. Okay, let's go on to the next layout. And as I mentioned before, um, I had this, let's see, this flower paper, and the other side was the ledger paper. I went ahead and cut the center out, like I mentioned, and I'm going to use that red border as a frame for my layout. And then because I didn't use this as a just a photo mount where I would cut it out and use you know four or five different photo mounts out of it, um, once I cut off those lace strips, I realized that it fits just perfectly inside of this lace border. So I have the yellow, I have the border, and then I can also use this flower pattern that I really like. So I like being able to make things stretch like that. So we're going to put this a little off center up here in the upper left corner. And with the flowers and I was looking at those teacups, it made me think of having lunch with my friends where I used to live and I miss these girls so I thought I would do a layout about them. And I'm just going to add two, and these are just 4 by 6 photos so crop anything because the size of that mat works pretty well. Okay, and then I have a circle I cut for journaling. I'm going to tuck that under here. So we can still see those flowers. We have some room for journaling. And then I decided I found a couple of other little pieces of accents. I had just a few strips of some of the other patterns from this collection. One is this blue gingham. And I'm going to create a little accent area down here. I also have some of that red damask. And then I took a piece of that cream colored cardstock. And I layered those together. I took these chairs from our sticker sheet here. And there are three chairs and there's three of us together. And since I was kind of thinking of the times that we used to go out and have lunch or, you know, grab a coffee or something. That's why I used the three chairs. And I used this um, cream behind it because I think it, it helped those stickers stand out a bit. So that's there. And then I need a title. So I found these letters from an Echo Park collection that's also available at the Memory Nest. And this is the Echo Park reflection that you can find these letters. Okay, and then I have one more little accent I wanted to add. Actually, that's not true. I'm going to add another one as well. Um, I had these little chevron chipboard pieces that were longer and I used them on another layout and so now I'm taking the leftover pieces and I'm creating another accent with them here. Add that there. And I have that little bit of blue here and that blue down here. So I'm going to add a little bit of blue up here to our journal block. Um, yeah, I think just one's good. Yeah, I'll just do one, I think. Okay. 
Okay, so here's our finished layout. Uh, we were able to use both sides of this paper. We had the flower there that we used as a mat. And that's about eight and a half by eight and a half that we cut out of the center. And we used the red border to frame our entire layout. Of course, we used that yellow to mat the whole thing. We ended up with a visual triangle because there's a little bit of blue there. And we used a little bit of blue here and a little bit of blue there. So we created a nice visual triangle there, which helps balance the page. We'll add some journaling to this, and it'll be ready to go. Okay, so we were able to use the last of our kit from Little Yellow Bicycles sent to us by the Memory Nest. We had just three papers left, and we were able to turn that into two super easy and fun layouts. Uh, we used some of our leftover chipboard pieces, and we used some of our stickers, and we used scraps from other pieces, other pages that we created from this same kit as our photo mat. So all we added was just a little bit of cardstock for a journaling block, which I think is pretty good. So I'm pretty pleased we were able to use this all up, and I hope I inspired you to get out some of those kits that have those few last little straggler pieces in them and get those pages put together. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, or you can find me at useitscrapbooking.com where you can sign up for our newsletter and get more tips and tricks for using your scrapbooking supplies. Thanks for watching. Bye.